person that you were supposed to be head over heels in love with, you might be rethinking that after spending 24 seven with each other day after day. It's uncharted territory for most couples. So we asked some experts on how you can survive this time and use it to grow stronger. When it comes to relationships, doctors Harville Hendricks and Helen LaKelly Hunt know their stuff. The married couple has written more than 10 books, including the New York Times bestseller, Getting the Love You Want. And they say right now, many couples want a break. The uh, stress of being uh, in the household with a person who usually goes to work and having to regulate your time, your schedule and your interactions with kids and everything else brings a level of stress uh, to what already is stressful being in a relationship with another human being. Our experts say too often couples that need some personal time seek it in ways that aren't healthy. Instead, they suggest being open with your partner about what you need and working together to get it. Make a plan. Don't just act out and therefore confuse your partner or trigger them. Have a conversation and say, you know, what I'd like to do and talk about is some private time for me and mm. a private time for you if you want it. It can be a lot of work figuring out how to coexist with that special someone for days on end. But one piece of advice from our experts, taking turns sharing emotional responsibilities. Every odd day of the calendar, one, three, five, it's my turn to make sure we go to bed connected. And they say those tips can work wonders and help all of our relationships survive this together. We can get through this. We will get through this. Stay together, work together, be partners together to create the healthiest relationship you can, because that's the surest way to come out of it with your relationship intact and alive. You know, Kara, not everybody is in a relationship right now. If you're single, it seems the only kind of dating you can do is online.